And five, four, hey. three, two. What up, y'all? What is it? I'm Kevin Dead She. The Chick Angel. Quick church announcement uh, oh. for the next three months in here and there, we might have to go virtual. I'm By the time you're watching this, I'll be in my third day of production on Churchy. In your trailer, so, your double banger. Uh, well, no, I don't have any of those things. <laughs> but uh, so Angel and I were talking at the end of the last episode. Well, the end of the, yeah, never mind. That This part wasn't public. But we basically going to be probably shooting on the weekends. So if you are wondering why something happens on Monday or or early Tuesday, why it's not covered on Wednesday, it's likely because Angel and I and Joshi have shot it on Saturday or Sunday. Um, if you are in a Patreon, you obviously will get two episodes a week. Um, so sometimes that information will be there. But we have made it work through Churchy, season one, season two, through Angel having um, her pilot being out of town, through everything. We find a way to shoot this podcast. So if you're curious, go ahead, Angel. Kevin, I think you might have misspoke. What? You might not get two. Patreon might not get two episodes. Because we're going to be burning. Aren't we going to be burning some bonuses? Well, if we only do one, it'll be the bonus, and the, the main will be what the bonus was. Right. So they might not get two episodes, is what I'm saying. You said page if you're Patreon, you'll get two episodes a week. There might not be if you're Patreon, you will always get at least an episode. I'm lost, Angel. Because if we are burning a um a oh, bonus. For like, yeah. Oh, yeah, there that might means be. there's no. Yeah, there's there. There might not be another main, is what I'm saying. So don't Understood. say that you'll definitely get two, because that's not the case. And you might not definitely get two, but yeah. but you're right. You're right, Angel. You're right about it. Um, I just didn't want to lie to the people, and then they be in your in in your DMs like, "Where's the second episode you promised on November yeah. the 16th?" Because sometimes when people come in new and they said you promised me something, Jack, and then they flick a razor out on me. It's like a butterfly knife. <laughs> Uh, but just know we're doing everything in our power, even if that means I'm shooting every single day of the week, we're going to get these podcasts up and together. Also, church announcement this week, um, if you're in Tacoma, Washington, Tony Baker and I will be there. Um, and the Saturday show uh, is close to selling out. So shout out to y'all. Um, Ball Brothers live in the first place ever that isn't um, Los Angeles, California. Um, and if you're not able to do that, don't you worry your pretty little head. The Ball Brothers Freestyle Thanksgiving Special will be streaming the week of Thanksgiving. You want to watch it together as a family? You can do so starting Wednesday, or you can watch it with your family on Thursday or Friday or Saturday or three years from now because you own it forever. It does not disappear. Angel, uh, Josh, what you got? I don't recall. Please check out uh, The Invincible Fight Girl on Cartoon Network. Uh, it's in their Adult Swim series. And I'm sure I had something else, but because I didn't write it down, it's gone. Oh, you can check out the documentary, The History of Black Comedy on Vice, not Netflix. Uh, and <laughs> we're going to leave right there because I can't, I can't remember anything else. All right, so we rearranged this podcast to include this Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight. Um, Angel, as a black woman, I'd love to hear your thoughts first. Well, first, let's start off how we end up watching it, me and my audience, because apparently a lot of people were having problems with Netflix. Not in my bedroom. Me and Netflix was doing just fine. Didn't we buffer good. One. Mm, did, it buffered one time in the entire time I had it on Netflix. Um, and so I went live on the Instagrams and we all watched together as um, Stony the road we trod, bitter the chase, uh, the chast we rod, whatever. Felt when the days uh, 
unborn when hope to die whatever the words are can't do it unless i'm singing it we saw Is black history words you sing or huh? shakespeare yeah look at every voice to sing that was the second verse but i can't do it unless i'm singing it we saw the black history that we don't be wanting to see the black <laughs> history that we read about in the books and we just like man that had to be tough that's <laughs> what we saw and I think it's what we all knew would more than likely happen, but we just were pushing that back in the hope that yes. some miraculous thing would happen. But we should have all known that Mike, Michael Tyson, as much as we love him and as much as he's in still in amazing shape as a 58 year old man, we know Listen, I told Kevin and them, I said, I'm going to be as mad as the election. But the same thing with the election is that thing of where you know what's going to happen, but you keep trying to hold out that something else is going to happen. Boxing is a young man's sport. Period. Yeah, point most blank. sports are young man's sport. You're or right. just young people in general. Most of the time, you when you get old, somebody young is fast and strong and they jump high and run fast and push you mm -hmm. and all that. We need to come up with an old man's sport then. Badminton. Golf, you can play when you're old. You can still be mm. good when you're old. Mobility is a little stiff. Chess. But... chess. Oh. Yes. There's no physical activity at all with chess. <laughs> we need something that just, it's right there. It's all, it's all in your <laughs> noggin. You know, I got a lot of head space. Yeah. Well, as soon as they made it through that first round, I knew I, I then just had to pray that nothing bad was going to happen to Mike. Because... Angel. Time wasn't on his side. As soon as he tripped in the hallway, I knew the time wasn't on his side. On I the missed the trip in the hallway. I missed oh, it. my God. The stumble. We were like, oh, yeah, he's by himself. He don't need nobody. And he goes, I was like, oh, God. Mike. <laughs> Mike. That was after we saw his full butt in the dressing room. Oh, my God. Full cheeks, butt. cheeks out, man, butt, big, no. big cheeks. After the fight of the century, before the two ladies. Yes, it was funny. We was watching at our house. Josh and them was over, and in that one moment in time, everybody happened to look up at the TV, because because my I'm not showing the clip. I ain't purposely seeing man butt, uh, boxing butt. They showed his booty cheeks. Angel. Oh, he he had his jock strap on, so you just saw the back of it, Angel. I'm so glad I missed it. He turned around. We were like, hey! Everybody at the same time. <laughs> I just here, turned around. I just, wait a minute. Because I missed it, my husband wanted to make sure that I got to see it. I just turned and looked that way and just saw yellow ass cheeks. <laughs> he said it was like this. And I turned. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, he had his butt out. It was his whole butt. And, that, and I've been, listen, I've been watching boxing a long time. I've been watching boxing for a long time. I ain't never seen full man butt in the dress. They are usually fully dressed. They got the for shorts the interview, on. Fully. The camera was out. <laughs> Nobody said live alert. It My was God. so funny. My kids was in there. The babies was in there. It was just like, hey, hey. Um. <laughs> Little Marcus was watching with his friends. I heard him in there clapping, and then all of a sudden the clapping stopped at the because same Mike time that I ripped. Huh? I was going to say, Mike had about eight seconds of good fight per round. <laughs> that man landed 18 or 19 punches over eight rounds. And he, but he only threw about 24. No, he threw 97, <laughs> but still, like, that was still like 200 less than, than Jake yes. threw. Jake threw about three times more than what Mike threw because Kev Mike looked, was like, I'll fall asleep. I'll die right here. Kev, Kev looked it up and it had been what, 19 years since 19 Michael Tyson? Years since Mike Tyson's last sanctioned bout. Why this was an official sanctioned bout? I have no idea. At 58 years old, like you should be doing exhibitions. Matter of fact, you should be doing uh, 
shadow boxing with your niece, nephew, and your grandkids, but a a an actual sanctioned bout that goes on your professional record. I mean, at the end of the day, Mike Tyson don't care. The twenty exactly. million. Because what he say about his legacy? <laughs> I don't <laughs> care at all. He, he took doesn't. twenty million home to you know what I'm saying stay upright. I'm just I, obviously as you know, as a lot of sentiment of the blacks was like, man, we need something. We need we needed a win. Um, yeah. And your dog has you're like your dog's hair was like this a little bit over the eye. I wanted to. It looked like I wanted to say tonight will be the night that I will die real over yeah. and over again. <laughs> But listen, man, I can't think of an easier way to get $20 million. Uh, in the first round, Jake Paul looked like, oh, my God, I'm in the ring with Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> he was backing up. He was, he was, he was keeping distance from himself. Uh, I mean, Jake knew, like, this is the thing. It don't matter how old Mike is. We, the power is still there. It's, the speed is not there. The agility is not there. He's super stiff, nor is the balance. Um, there's osteoporosis. Well, I saw, I saw, I saw. I was like, wow, this is where we're at. So I know Jake was just like, listen, while I can, I can outreach him and I can move faster than him. If this man does actually somehow land, them yams oh, is undefeated. Oh, okay. God, you guys. I know Jake knew if this man hits me. I might not be able to jump back. So yes, I too would have been. For sure. But once he realized, once he realized Mike was winded, winded, he was mm -hmm. like, "Oh, let me just wear him out some more." And I, strategically, I thought Jake was very smart. He was like, "If I just start throwing more punches," because mm -hmm. Mike was not. Mike was doing mm -hmm. a lot of swatting away, but there was barely any. That's what I. Angel, he he did a lot of like. <laughs> one time he did this. Yes. Also, but like, I want us to ask ourselves as a society, why did we tune in in mass to watch a fifty year, fifty eight year old man do a sport that he first, I believe, Mike was the youngest heavyweight champion at twenty, I believe. Mm -hmm. Most would argue that his prime probably peaked at what somewhere 24, 25, something like that. You guys know I believe in always trying to become a better person as well as really diving into your interest and learning more about them. Well, the conversations we have on this podcast always get me thinking. And when I want to dive deeper into becoming an, a better entrepreneur or being a comedian and showing my comedic voice or even just being a storyteller, I want to hear from the best. Luckily, I can do just that with Masterclass. With Masterclass, you can learn from the best to become your best. Masterclass is the only streaming platform where you can learn and grow with over 200 plus of the world's best. For just $10 a month, an annual membership with Masterclass gets you an unlimited access to every instructor. You can access Masterclass on your phone, computer, smart TV, or even in audio mode. I absolutely love Masterclass. They have some of the most amazing instructors. They have Martha Stewart on there, Kevin Hart, Amy Poehler, Joanne Gaines, like people who I can truly trust that they know what they're talking about, and so can you. Right now, our listeners get an additional 15% off an annual membership at masterclass.com slash the thing. That's 15% off at masterclass.com slash the thing masterclass.com slash the thing so you're safely saying you're 23 20 20 years past your prime fighting a person that no one would argue is um one of the world's greatest boxers but he is one of the world's greatest promoters he mm -hmm. has tapped into that we want to see you lose he came out to mike tyson's song in the hangover he oh, uh that intro he it what else did he do? so slow oh angel and then mike tyson walked out by himself 
Yeah. Um, and then speaking of promotions, the soft the soft launch of his own deodorant that's coming out. Logan was just spraying all over the place. They gonna Genius. get that product, Oh my god. I think um, I, I want to know what it says about us as a society that 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 spectacle we signed up for to the point where Netflix's servers were not strong because Angel well, Mobile, was, hardly a lot of people had uh, your experience and a lot of people had mine. Where Fred Hammond had Fred Hammond had yours, Kev. Fred Hammond called me at, at the end of the fight. Was like, was your internet tripping? And I was like, yeah, Fred. Also, you're Fred Hammond. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you call, you call you know, it a regular oh, Angel. We but... was watching that on a razor phone. Oh no, <laughs> Angel! The fight it before was for minutes. I, I kept having to go out of Netflix and come back in, and it's like three Netflix has had three live events that I've watched the, or wanted to watch. The Love is Blind reunion. It got overloaded to the point where they said we're just gonna put this up like a YouTube video. Y'all watch it right. later. Yeah, it'll take four days before we put it up, but you'll get to see it eventually. Yeah, the Chris Rock special I watched live, I didn't have any issues. And the Tyson fight, um, there was more issues during the undercard. I don't I don't remember any actual issues during the Tyson fight, but the undercard, um the undercard, it was but early on it was buffered. And also I watch a lot of boxing and the undercard fights are better. Uh Taylor Serrano. That fight, them women was throwing hands, no defense at oh all. Did God. you watch that one, Angel? I, I did. I barely watched it. I was doing a game night for my aunt's conference here virtually. But what I did see was that the one woman opened up a window on the other woman's eye so that she could get some ventilation to the meat under she had her a good. Skin. She had a good draft going through there, Angel. I mean, that thing, I wanted to be like, zip it up your purse, girl. That thing See, was so. <laughs> it was so disgusting. It's Josh a last night. Let me show y'all the picture of this. This was after that, the fight. Look at this. Yeah, it, it looked looks, even worse. I meet. It looked worse when she was still in that ring and talking. I was like, "How and are you?" Bloody. She was fighting, going like this, getting all that yeah, sweat they... and blood in her eye. Their and faces the look is, like 1990 sitcoms when they would do prosthetics of when somebody's face is swollen. Like That's what Mike it looked like. Martin, Martin, Martin. Martin. Martin Burns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing, uh, I, I I could not believe that that white girl won based on how yeah. I was watching the fight and a, and a point deduction. I was like, wait, you, I mean, they was throwing hands. Hey. Mm -hmm. No defense. And they was, I mean, shoot, they threw more punches in probably, and this is not even like no hyperbole, probably one round, they probably landed more punches than landed in the entire Tyson Paul Jake. Oh, I'm sure. They looked like they was punching speed bags at some point or heavy bags. Like they was not blocking and dodging. They was just, I'll punch your head. You punch my head. I'll punch your head. You punch my head. Headbutt. Headbutt. Oh, headbutt. And then she was doing the old boxing trick. After you headbutt, you find a way to just drag your head across that open eye and hope the doctor uh, calls it. Like, she not only headbutted her, what most would agree was on purpose. She doggone drug that head across that mm -hmm. eye. Her, her, over, bang, over, over. her bang was covered in blood from rubbing it against old girl's Ew. face. Did you know, I think I told y'all this, and I'll tell you again, because we're old people. I considered going into boxing in uh, college because there was somebody really? at the university. Mm -hmm. There was a black dude at the University of Kentucky, older black man who would train folk. And so he was trying to see who would be interested. And I was like, well, I got all I got all this weight behind me. I might as well use it to do something. And then I decided not to. Then when I came out here to California, that's how my trainer would train me was with boxing because he was a boxer. And this is what let me know I made the right choice. After like a week of training with him, I could, this is how my hand would move. I could not sign documents because oh, my no. hand, at, like trying to hold something still, my hand would move like that. I said, oh. What was that caused by? I think for me just, because as you know, I am strong. So 
when we would when we would spar, I would really be like, I'm going to use everything I have. And I think from just repetitively hitting, my mm. my nerves were like, what have you done? This is not <laughs> this is not because I thought it would be like kickboxing, you know. You're not hitting anything when you're doing the kickboxing to the songs. Yeah, it's yeah. Time is just there. When you're actually making contact and the energy shoots back into your arm. Like you hit something, some of that energy comes back to you. My body was like, no, no, no. I no. once had a trainer that I was using, one of my many that we started and ended. We was boxing as part of training and sparring, no headgear. And obviously I'm not a trained boxer. Um nor particularly coordinated. You guys were so sparring we were without sparring. without headgear? Without headgear. Just <laughs> boxing glove. Why? I don't know. Sosa was like, uh, you know, Sosa, Chris Sosa from All Deaf, he was a boxer. Um, and he was like, Kev, you shouldn't be sparring without headgear. That's, you ain't I like mean. It. So anyway, dude hit me for real. Like hit me in my lip, and I taste a little metallic. Mm. And he was listen. I've, I've been close to two seventy for some time. He about one eighty. I said, "Oh, nigga, we boxing." I, I thought we was just throwing hands to like get the cardio up. You have you have struck me, sir. I I wish I had a video. I had on my Instagram, Angel. I socked that man for real. <laughs> Sock that man for real. Yeah, you gotta get you gotta get your you gotta get it back. No, oh, y'all gotta get it back in blood, Josh. I said, Pinky said, all right, y'all, let's take let's take a little break. Yeah, because why are you hitting me? <laughs> I got <laughs> you hit me first. Now. I gotta be on camera. and we was in the back of like an apartment thing, just in the in the in the grant in the like a almost like a little courtyard. Un, uneven ground, bricks and stuff. Why are you hitting me? I, straight right through the gloves. Bink. He was like, y'all were wow. outside in a parking lot outside in a little, you know, how LA has all those like, uh, what are those? Like when the apartments, they are circled around. They always have that courtyard in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just say courtyard. That makes sense. Like, like a little patio. Yeah. It's like garden style. I don't know what it is, but they have a little courtyard. We in there at 6 a.m., 7 a.m. punching each other in, in, <laughs> what the hell? I, I know I could have got hurt. That's the whole point. We should have been doing that. But anyway, uh, uh, I don't want... I, so I found out during the Tyson fight that Netflix is hosting the... Uh, is it Thanksgiving or Christmas games? Christmas so, Day. Uh, Christmas Wait, no, no, Day no, no. Games. Is it Thanksgiving or Christmas? If it's Thanksgiving, that's crazy. They're going to do another live stream. You talking about the NFL? NFL games? Oh, that's going to be terrible. Did. Yeah, they. I was like, when did when did Netflix start? When Christmas they... Day. Yeah, it was like the Texans. Yeah, it was the Texans versus somebody. Oh, they signed a three year deal, Kev. Is it just for the Christmas games? Just for the Christmas games. The NFL. I just want to say something. <clears throat> this might be controversial. I've been a, I've been watching football a long time. Back in the day, almost all the games were on Sunday, and then you had Monday Night Football, and Monday Night Football was a big deal because it was Monday Night Football, the and game, the game. And it seemed like when I was a kid, maybe this is nostalgia, maybe it's true. It seemed like that Monday game was often a good game because it was like, oh man, Monday Night Football, the Titans, the Steelers, the football game. And, and then they went Monday night football. Then they had Sunday night football. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, this is great. And a lot of the Sunday night games were good. The NFL now has a doggone game in London that's on at 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Some games in the morning, some games in the afternoon, Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night. When the playoffs get around, they're going to be playing on Saturday night. It's too many primetime games, and they often stink it up. <laughs> when you have all the games on Sunday morning, it's, you can choose. You know, you go to red zone. Some of the games are good. Some are bad. When it's just one game, four nights a week, it's stinking McGee versus stinking draws. <laughs> and they always, the is it because you're saying they, a lot of the time. 
because they're not able to play as well because they just had I think, I think the combination a lot of times you play on Sunday and then you play on Thursday you've only had three days of rest a lot of times the NFL player be needing they need six days you playing on Sunday somebody 300 pounds is crashing into you for two and a half hours and then you have uh three days and you got to play another game on Thursday I don't want it it's too much and then they got uh they finna get wrestling too they finna get Monday Night Raw on Netflix this is not listen you know why I think I think they want to do this because they need the built-in audience they're tired of original content that is like original like concept as well but they are not a live streaming platform put this they on you never huh? been successful youtube is good for live streaming yeah prime prime video and they already got the contract they got thursday night football i agree with you Prime Angela. video has thursday night football yes mm -hmm. we all over the place you got to have all these apps they got they got nfl games on peacock prime video netflix it used to just be on fox and cbs on on no, tubi Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say on Tubi, they got the Dirty D before. That's the lead in. Yeah. <laughs> you believe? Uh, I was about to say, y'all remember when we cut the cord? Cut the cord. Say no oh, to my God. In we the next paid week. Twice as much as we did when everything was on oh, God yeah. Dag on Direct TV. We cut the cord because we have Wi-Fi now. We don't need the cord. We didn't change none of our habits. We yeah. pay infinitely more now via. Yeah, we did change our habits. We became dumber and was like, "That's right." Oh, yeah, I'm I'll the dumbest. Just six subscriptions, seven. My eight. my U YouTube TV alone is like seventy five dollars now. Yes, YouTube and TV they, is my direct TV. You mm. know what I don't like about these apps? Y'all just reminded me. Back in the day, they would be like, not even a day, but months ago, they would email you like, we raising the prices because we're going to be adding this feature now. With We're we going to raise the price because we now have access to these movies. Now they just email you, the price of the brick going up. It's 44, it was, it was, it was 44, it's 72 now. And what shut we, up. What we getting extra? Nothing, man. Shut up. The price of the brick going up. And they just stand up and walk off. The email don't have no features coming in. All the people were raising the prices together. We ain't got no concern. We ain't, I ain't got offered a new feature. YouTube TV be like, we're gonna we raising the price, but now we're gonna add Fox and this, and you can rewind. Now they're like, they, Man, and up. they're and they're adding everything but YouTube premium. The least you can do is throw that in. They're the like, least you can do great. is throw it in. They're like, we they we ain't got nothing to do with them. This, this, again, we got the same first name, but we ain't the same people. <laughs> we got different dads. <laughs> That's different like dads, saying Angel crazy. Angel Moore and Angel Conwell are the same folk. They two different people. Two different angels. Yeah. One got two L's in it. And Angel Reese. Y'all confusing us. We in different uh, entities. But we got Come Angel Reese streaming uh, all the games. Where's she streaming the games at? No, I'm just saying they're, they're but they're running Chicago Sky. Oh. Um, you know, I'm I'm saying like you could watch it on a streaming service. Never mind. We can we can I got it process. now. I got okay. it. Okay. Not I'd explain it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. But the yeah, thing man. is, we're paying so much to see one little thing. And I listen, found out you I really need to have. You only need one app. Patreon, Kev on Stage Studios. At the end of the day, that's the only app you need. Turn off the other one to save enough money to be on Kev on Stage at the studios. Yep. You get a bonus episode. We when we when we charge you more, we give you things like the hospital. We actually don't even charge you more. We ain't raised the price in ever. We ask you for more, but we don't charge you more. So speaking of cutting the cord, turn off Netflix and turn on Kev. Even though we're going to talk about what we watched on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Therapy can be costly, but Talkspace is affordable and in-network with most insurance providers. Most insure members have a $0 copay. Talkspace, the leading virtual therapy provider, makes getting the help you need easy, accessible, and affordable. Talkspace therapy and psychiatry are covered by many insurance plans and employers. Most insured members have a zero dollar copay. You can easily sign up online and get paired with a licensed provider that's right for your needs, the right fit for you, typically within 48 hours. You can also switch providers at no extra cost. 
Talkspace makes getting help convenient because you can take your appointments from the comfort and the privacy of your own home. As a listener to this podcast, you'll get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K and enter promo code SPACE80. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K and enter promo code SPACE80 to get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Promo code SPACE80. Prize Picks is the best place to get real money sports action. With over 10 million users and billions of dollars awarded in winnings, Prize Fix is has made daily fantasy sports accessible to all. Just pick more or less on at least two players for a shot to win up to 100 times your cash. Run your game all season long on Prize Picks. I really do believe that Prize Picks is a great way to get into daily fantasy sports. You really are trying to find a place where you can jump in there, have fun, not be stressed, but really like get a chance to get your head in the game. And Prize Picks is where you should go and do that. Prize Picks puts their members first, so all withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. When your picks hit, you can get your money in as quick as 15 minutes. Prospix now offers Venmo for easy and quick deposits and withdrawals into your account this sports season. Sign up today and get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prospix also offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday each Tuesday. Um, truly, it is very, very simple. We've been uh, working with prospects for a while, and I promise you, you will be like, oh, this is simple. I should do this. And you can win $50 with just by putting $5 down, and you ain't got to win? Because you know, being the <laughs> sports expert that I am, <laughs> not everybody has all that insight, you know, but you don't need that to be able to have fun on prospects. Download the app today and use code SK to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. Download the app today and use code SK to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. Again, download the app today and use code SK to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. Prize picks. Run your game. Prize fix. Run your game. All right. You want to move on? Or you have anything else to say about that uh, that boxing match, Angel? You know what? I would say this. I Mike, he looked the way he should have looked. We, yeah. we uh, You know, he talked a good game in the beginning, but that's what he's supposed to do. But mm-hmm. he looked the way a 58-year-old should look. And Jake Paul looked the way a rich white boy who has unlimited resources and a lot of time should look if he's going to enter into the world of boxing and want to be taken seriously. I would love to see him fight these people who have a lot to lose. And then, and then I feel like I'd be like, okay, it's, uh, you know what? This is what I said at the end of the fight. I'm sorry. I did have a lot more to say. I was like, the Aryan nation is rising up. That is what I feel like is happening. The Aryan right Nation? Yes. Aryan Nation? <laughs> the Aryan Nation. That's how Jake, what was Jake saying at the end of the fight? It felt like he was trying to put out the call to people. Things he was. Changing. He said, and also he was like, Canelo, Canelo needs me. I don't need Canelo. It's like, what are you talking about? He knows he's like because he but he brings a lot of god dang old money just because he brings eyeballs. Um, and he doesn't mind being the villain. However, yeah, I was just like this blonde white boy. Just got a W over Mike Tyson. Now, granted, he should actually, that should happen because he is half, more than half of this man's age. But one thing I felt like Black folk have had over most people, but especially white people, is that even if we are not the smartest in the room, or the person who's had the uh, uh, the person who has had access to most education. I don't want to say smartest in the room. Even if we're not the wealthiest in the room, you don't want to fight me. <laughs> the problem is now they're like maybe we can fight them. Mm. Mm. The area. Listen, everybody ain't everybody ain't fifty eight now. I get it. I get it. I get it. But now it's like the oh maybe I could train and be stronger and be. Yeah, I just, 
It just, for me, I was just like, we didn't need to give them no more W's. No more. They didn't need not nary another W. They've been winning Or another dollar. Life. Or another dollar. Or he another. was able to command $40 million for himself without a pay-per-view. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. I, crazy. $40 million. $40 million. I just... I just now listen, there were some things that I learned about him that I said, oh, that's great. When they said he has helped uh, women boxers earn more money and he has helped with boxer wages. I was like, well, that's good. That's real good. I said, "Okay, I'm happy that you've done that. But I would rather I would rather watch him fight people who have nothing to lose, that this is their only career that they can do. And um, because I actually don't think he'll do terrible. I think he'll really, but I think it'll really, um, if he wants respect as a boxer and not just a uh, influencer or content creator, I think that's the way to go instead of fighting these old ass men that we love. Like leave him alone. He, the, the, the smartest thing Jake Paul does is not fight actual boxers but fight people who are known for fighting and sell that. Like he was like, the last guy he fought was like Mike Perry, bare knuckle brawler, Anderson Silva, 78 years old. Nate Robinson was an athlete. Do you know who Jake Paul is? I think he fought at heavyweight last night. I believe Mm -hmm. Jake Paul's fight. You know who else is a heavyweight? Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Usyk. You don't. You, he he not get in there with nobody who's been boxing since they were fifteen and in their prime. This would be over. Jake Paul don't have the footwork of a real boxer. He don't no. have the defense of a real boxer. So he's got he, no fundamentals. He's relearning fundamentals. They were talking about that in his documentary. He said the biggest struggle his coach had with him was being able was having to like start all the way from the very beginning of what a boxer how a boxer should move in the ring. Absolutely, because a lot of them boxers. They start when they're children. And then it's it's a sixth sense of how they move with their weight, how they uh, set up the next punch. Yes, they move. The first thing they teach you in boxing, you don't, when when I did training in another boxing time, I went to learn. Not in the courtyard? Not in the parking lot or courtyard? The actual boxing gym. The, okay. The first boxing gym. They were like, well, you, you don't need to throw a punch for weeks. The first thing you need to know how to do is step in a boxing ring because when you the way boxers move is not how you walk around it's like your feet need to be together how you your stance your weight and how to just step forward backwards right and left then you need to learn how to protect yourself then you learn how to move your hands and then step and protect yourself by week four you might throw a punch and imagine somebody learning that when when they were seven and you started in your 20s yeah yeah Fight. He was talking about Canelo. I think Canelo, the weight jump is too different for them to fight. But I think even somebody Canelo, which he'll have some pounds on, he know he now he can say that in the ring, man. Canelo need me, brother. The Mexican people don't go down good. Facts. You got to be almost ready to kill them. <laughs> Damn good. Listen, them Mexican fighters, they have a they often have a a lot of Mexican fighters are known for having a strong chin. A lot of black fighters are known for being slick, you know, and hard to hit. That Mexican people would be like pink. Yeah. <laughs> Come right back. <laughs> Just taking it to the face. You don't want to fight them for real. Like that's what he's he's smart about doing. He picks people that's just interesting enough to make the fight seem yeah. like it could be. And then uh it ain't. It's just a money-making machine. So I mean, with that as a business, it, it that's smart. If if it's not that's to be weird. the world heavyweight champion or the world's whatever you will be rich that is what you will be yes no yeah that's it that's all i have to say all right let's move on to, to uncle denzel i just this this gladiator press run denzel is doing some of the funniest things without being funny at all i was talking to melissa about this she said uh, Denzel announced he was going to be Black Panther, right? Black Panther 3. He's and going to be in it. He's going to be in it. Yeah. what I say? I thought you said uh, the, way, the way it came over to me, it sounded like he was going to be Black Panther. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he's going to be in it. 
Uh, and I was talking about how he ain't going to be having no accent in there, right? He's just going to be like, I'll kill Thanos. I guarantee it. I stand by it, right? And Melissa was like, I don't think he was supposed to announce that <laughs> in that interview. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, Kev, think about how all the Marvel stuff be announced. Like, mm -hmm. it's at Comic-Con. It's at this big Marvel thing. It's like the big slate. Like, you think Marvel would just let Denzel announce a movie in an interview about another movie out of contract they, yeah you know yeah. Marvel be big on the nda and the silence and all that stuff um they be big on that and denzel was just like so after this i'm gonna do king lear i'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh othello i played that when i was 22 want to play that when i'm 70 i want to do a movie with steve mcqueen okay we working on a film uh, 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 Ryan Coogler got a got a got a movie that he want me to be in. He gonna he wrote me a part in Black Panther three, and then I'm gonna do something else, and then I'm gonna be retired. And then all these blogs were like Denzel's in Black Panther three, and I was like, what? Not like <laughs> from Marvel stuff. It was hmm. like discussing film and stuff. So I watched the video, and I was like, oh dang, this is crazy. Uh, and then Liz said that I was like, you know what? You are right. <laughs> and then she's like, what you going to do? It's Denzel. Like, you gonna, you can't take the words back. Right. And right. I just thought that was so funny. Uh, I just hope they let him be an American because he's going to be, in, if he's a Wakandan with no accent, I mean, I'll, I'll look past that. <clears throat> but he said at ABFF, he said at ABFF, he ain't wearing no tights. Did he? Dang. He said, nah. <laughs> I, I ain't wearing no tights. He said, absolutely not. He said, that is not, mm -mm. no, I ain't doing it. I said, <laughs> I just want to be a superhero movie with no tie. He going to have jeans on as Denzel, man? Some khakis, I'm sure. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I said, why is he becoming such a nigga at an old age? Like, it is you just. You don't care, Angel. I see. I see. It is so funny because not to say he's any less distinguished. He's a, a distinguished man, but we just saw him as the epitome of grace and and like being debonair. And now he is he's sometimes honorary. And I love it. Oh yeah. You seen him with the people? Uh y'all, somebody just asked Denzel if Denzel ever used the British an accent. Oh, you've missed out. He's used a British accent before. Uh huh. Wasn't it in and, the Shakespeare thing? No, it was a movie. Hold on, what let's you? see. Oh yes, yes, I did see this. Let me let me, let me show y'all this. Look at how young he looks. Jonathan Majors has that posture. So, you came here from St. Lucia when you were four, Jonathan? Yes. Yes. And you've not been resident anywhere outside the UK? Oh, apart from tours of duty now. Apart from tours of duty now. Well, I'm very sorry, Mr. James, but despite your excellent army record, I can't make a special exception. I don't understand this. I had a British passport. Passport. The passport was issued to you before the 1981 Act. Now, under the new law, since you were born in St. Lucia, which has now become an independent country, you no longer have citizenship of the United Kingdom colonies. Well, I can die for the United Kingdom and colonies, can't I? <laughs> you can put me out there as a front gunner to get me bleeding head blown off. I'm British then, yeah? Yes, but you still become a British citizen. Yeah. All you have to do is send a check 200 pounds. Send it to me. I'll, I'll hurry along because I know you want to go on holiday. You don't understand, do you? The 200 pound has got nothing to do with it. I appreciate your predicament. Yeah. Appreciate? You don't appreciate nothing. Where were you no. when the bullets started flying, eh? I'm behind your desk, shitting yourself like the rest of your kind. Well, I was out there. 
in the cold, oh, in the dark, in the shit. I watch my mate, a man who saved my life, get his fucking leg blown off. Long. Appreciate. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Hey, so that dog on Denzel was fighting so hard to get out. <laughs> it was going. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Denzel was like, get this accent out of here and let me talk about regular. Oh it was going God. back and forth so much. There were times where it was just like, oh, and then it would leave. It was just, <laughs> but it definitely didn't sound like you because you just yell. I can do it muted. You got to do it like he had. No, he 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 had a lot of the breathy breathiness. Oh, I've been fighting for my country for so my mate got his leg blown off. You want to tell me? Are we in I'm Australia? Not, what is happening? I told my mate, you want to tell me not go get my passport? <laughs> my passport. Hold on, hold on. Let me be for real. Let me be for real. Me thinks it was a British shit. I said, I won't get my passport. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those words just jumped on top of each other. It sounded like you had macaroni and cheese in your mouth while you were trying to do it. <laughs> you ain't told me I got my passport. I think I got a voice. I got to get my passport on Tuesday. <laughs> you sound like a baby, like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> the, now, the funny thing is, as he's acting, you can see what we love, the the intensity, the charisma. <laughs> the, the, the just words was coming out like, Hoity toity, baby boy, hoity toity, no, the boy, British like the British like. Well, I wasn't expecting for him to take that. I mean, because there are so many versions of a British accent, I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> let's so let's watch it over there. I've, I've saw the one I just showed you. I haven't seen this one, so let's just find out together if it's if he's any better or worse. This is uh another. The last one was eighty eight. <laughs> So what's it now? Bank robberies. What that? Nah. Too much like hard work. Put it away, Rube. It's a dangerous weapon you got there, Colin. Don't take me from my grouping. I know what it is. The dog on music was stronger than the accent. Yes, yes. <laughs> the music was going off. That was the that was the villain origin story. Go ahead, dude. So was it not in bank robberies? What that? Nah. Too much luck up. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. That's just it right there. Continue. You can do whatever you want to do, man. Denzel did that movie and then just continued on his career path and yeah. became one of the greatest actors in our history. I mean, if I want to work with him, I got to either be Shakespeare ready or Marvel ready. If I want to work with him on a, on a movie film. As an actor, or stage, re oh, on a movie film, you're right. Or to get ready to do an August Wilson film. I feel like he'll continue to come out of retirement if it's a good, strong August. Yeah. Wilson. Well, he actually said he wanted to not retire. He he said I said retire, but I meant I want to go go. He wants to go behind the camera, um, yeah. or give back. He said in your life you you learn, you earn, and you return. And he's in his return phase of life. Um, but uh, I can't wait to see this dog on Gladiator movie. I'd be forgetting that Denzel is not the Gladiator, he sold Denzel. All the marketing is Denzel. Mm. Gladiator is about the fighters in the ring, and all the promo is Denzel. Pe Pedro Pascal's in it, isn't he? I did not know that. Joshua, they got, they got a, a, a lights out lineup, and Denzel's the only person we've ever seen in the past. Yeah. 
The poster I just served is that picture where he's like, you know, he's looking out to the side. That's the Denzel he's the money eye. Maker. He's the money maker. Oh, yeah. When he was doing the great debaters, he just wanted to direct it. They were like, but if you want us to make it, you're going to have to do it <laughs> in front of the camera. <laughs> Here's a debate. I want you to win. You want to direct it? You got to be in it. If you ain't, you got to be in it. You could direct a film that's going nowhere. There ain't nobody going to be able to see it. <laughs> this is like, this was like with the app. There were stuff that was getting made for the app, but they were like, "If y'all want eyeballs in it, Kim, you gonna have to, you gonna have to show up. You gonna have to pop up in here." Listen, yeah, and you write about it, yeah, because I wasn't gonna be in the hospital, and people, my people were like, "Kevin, you what? No, I was like, no, I need to be a vehicle for the people. Yeah, yeah, all that. You be in it too. Get it, be be be, be vehicle for the people." Get CP in there and get to him and Tony and all, all, all the like. Get Lauren and Jasmine and, and Reggie and Rob. And you get in there too and you be an actor as well. CP could have uh, got that brains tired off, man. I know. That dog on Crunch Stadium joke. Boy, I had myself a great laugh. He said, oh, completely improv. I just happened to say chips. You can just happen to be like improv. Yeah, chips. Oh, gotta save from chips. I legit didn't know what he was gonna say. I said, "Why? That's a crunch stadium." I said, "Man, he's stupid." <laughs> Speaking of CP, me and Marcus are watching the Detroiters. Have y'all ever watched that show? Mm -mm. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. Is it on Netflix? Yes, it's great. It's goofy. I'm in. It's goofy, and I love it. Uh, Sam. Robinson and Tim, whatever they both have kind of black last names. Tim Robinson is the white dude, right? Oh, Tipsy, I put his last name on the wrong person. The white dude yeah. is Tim. Sam, something else that's like a black name to me. What's his name? Sam something. Richardson. Uh, Richardson. Yeah. Yeah. They uh they are hilarious as best friends. I, we actually had Marcus watch an episode last night with um Gail. Oh, what is Gail Bean was in it and Sam Friend of the Pod, you know, huh? Friend of the Pod. Friend yeah. of the Pod. My, my saw Rob. Um, where he was trying to Sam was trying to code switch, but like Sam normally just speaks proper, like very uh mid-Atlantic, uh as this that's what they call it in dialect school, mid-Atlantic English. But because he's trying to impress Gail, he goes into this very like I'm from the I'm from the hood type of yeah, baby girl, you know what I'm saying? So he's flipping back and forth through the episode. And it is one of the funniest things. And I said, Little Marcus, I need you to watch this because I need to know, could you do something like this? Could you play a character where you had to keep flip-flopping back and forth from the Marcus we know to a dude who's just like, What's up? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? Good to see you. Kicking game. You know? Yeah, and or either just like he would be talking to regular people, you know, chill like a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. It is so funny. Y'all should check it out. It's very goofy funny. I love it. I love it. Tim Robinson is that uh he has that sketch show um on Netflix. He had one of those things that went viral. Like the guy was like, That burger looks good. Let me have that. Give me that. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you joking. Uh, so no, that was uh, dope. Also, Denzel in this uh, Gladiator um, press tour said that he kissed a man in this movie, and they took it out. And he was like, "I guess they were scared." And I just want to say, men. The men podcast had Denzel kiss the man on a gladiator in Gladiator and completely remain his confident actor self. Denzel is an actor. He gonna give the role what the role wants. Um, he might have saved us from months of podcast dialogue. And about Denzel as a straight man kissing a man on the lips in a movie. Yes. What no the, the the dialogue would be what Hollywood has done to the black man. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. interesting. Denzel is doing it at the end of his career, where 
Usually they do. As soon as they get you in Hollywood, they're going to put you in a dress. You're going to kiss that man, and then you're going to take off. Denzel, having had already won his Oscars and by his own admission on his uh, tail of his tail end of his career, you can't make the argument that he did it to further himself. Uh, right. And absolutely, um, gladiators did be kissing me. Ancient Rome, y'all, Roman Empire, and them Greeks. Yeah, there's a reason Greek and freak rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Greeks was the Greeks was like, what? This is all what? Let's not stand on ceremony. Let the me Greeks put it come in out life. at night. <laughs> nice. Come on, man. Love nice. The you, Greek guys. people are. Do you remember uh, how the people in Dorne were Angel in Game of Thrones, Pedro Pascal and them's character? When they, that's what the Greek people were. My, I know Greek and Roman is different, but they was over there together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they used to be doing all the things in the bathhouses. And I'm like, do you know what you you bath? You're supposed to clean yourself. You're not supposed to get more dirty. They're like, no, we're going to get up in here. we about they to just put open in open. Listen, I'm not secure with myself or my body. I said, I couldn't have been out there with y'all. I just can't have holes and holes and people just licking and sticking. You ain't even paying attention now. You done been licked. You like, hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. I can't, Why are you looking I can't deal with the smells. I can't deal with the smells. That's oh, too no. many open offices and everything has a scent and i'm not saying that people stink but if you put everybody's body odor together it's not going to be pleasant not in my that like i don't know how people do orgies it's it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's just who is that i imagine who angel that? Orgy like whoo somebody's first. tangy if you're first you get if you're first you maybe get used to it if you come late it's kind of already been lingering <laughs> you remember that part of Austin Powers when he was like, you know, in an apartment and everybody's already been cooking and everybody smells are mixing, it smells like that plus fart. That's that yes. the somebody somebody walks in the the big orgy like, oh Sarah's here. They, they yeah. she, she she said she wasn't coming back till April. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. mean, what what, <laughs> what a fragrant surprise. Sarah's yeah. is crazy. Sarah, yeah. what's up, Charlie? I'm almost done. Yeah. I'll, I'll come back up soon. Hey, Jay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's too many smells. Oh man, that's wild. Sorry, Sarah's. Any any Sarah's in here? Sorry. No, nah, Sarah's. I'm not gonna be freaky. The Sarah's be the biggest freaks. The biggest <laughs> Sarah's freaks. in the- the Yo, Sarah's freak. and the Amy's. <laughs> no, the big freaks be them doggone anime girls. Let me tell you what I found out down to the cons. Them anime people be doing that sex. It ain't all cosplay. It be some cospeen in there. I know y'all be y'all taking costumes <laughs> off. is crazy. Y'all be in there doing that. Yeah, y'all be in there doing that hentai. I know what y'all did. I seen the way y'all looked at each other. Well, the anime cartoon girls, their skirts only cut off right at their bo- oh, yeah. booty cheeks. It'd be very suggestive. And then the women becoming dressed like that, but higher. When I was at DreamCon, I said, hey, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> hey. And I see the way they looked at each other. It was like, are you going no. to the uh, uh-huh. are you going to the panel? Well, I'm going to the panel. <laughs> I'm about to give you a panel. Wait, that don't even go. Hey, I just, what? I'm oh, speaking of anime, I love that they kind of... Uh, Going back to the uh, the bonus episode, that that's how they did the storytelling in Meg the Stallion's documentary. The was oh yeah, the animation. Yeah. That's a note. Yeah. That, yes, that was really cool. Yeah, I love that, and it started to lean towards kind of like an anime style, even more so towards the end. Yeah. I was yeah. like, anime fan. She yes. is okay. That's cool. That's that's they always be challenging her anime. Apparently, this is a big thing in the anime community. Uh, women are always challenged about like their love for anime they'd be like i like anime name seven characters what was goku's seventh form how you watch death note and, and then the, a lot of the women that i follow be like bro we i ain't got to prove myself to you but apparently that happens to meg a lot uh men are always like making her prove herself there was a there was a when she did that watashi wa star video mm-hmm there was a video, a guy from Bar was like, actually, her Japanese accent more mixes between. And then a Japanese person stitching was like, man, shut up. We just happy she's over here doing our language at all. You ain't <laughs> Japanese either. Your accent is trash. And I was like, and their American accent was good. 
but they spoke fluent Japanese. I was like, it's, it's, it was crazy. It's like people can't believe beautiful women like anime. Anime ain't nothing but good stories that are just they anime. They don't believe ugly women can believe like anime either. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think you're missing what the problem really is. It's oh my God. Problem. That's hilarious. The yeah, that's right. So any male, yeah, not just anime, Aaron, any male dominated, nerdy. God dang it. Not, oh, okay. Oh. A guy like you can't Bill the, comment no more. the comments be going fast down to the Patreon. Anyway, sports and all that type of stuff. Even though anybody can learn about sports from watching sports. People were very not, shocked. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. People were very shocked that I knew what I was talking about while we were watching the Tyson fight. I was like, I said, okay. No, panelists on here? First of all, that's the, I'm like, first of all, I've proven myself. We've introduced sports today. because of Angel. Yes. But second of all, wow. I'm not going to remember names. That's not a part of what is important as a sports analyst. What I am going to remember is a sport that I actually like and understanding mm -hmm. like, oh, these are the mechanics of it. And this is why this fight is going this way. Mm -hmm. Somebody was like, you sound like you know what you're talking about. I was like, because I do. Damn it. Now, obviously. What was you ahead. saying that? You say that, Angel. I was like, um, they were like, uh, Paul, Jake Paul is like keeping away. I was like, yes, because he has a long enough reach. He doesn't have to go in tight. What, why would he take away his one advantage? His one advantage is that he has a longer reach than Mike. And he's younger, obviously. Those are his yeah. two advantages. I said, if he takes away the advantage of him having a longer reach, he's putting himself in jeopardy of having, of, of, uh, coming face to face with the one advantage Mike has right now, which is still power. And they were right. like, you sound you sound like you know what I'm talking about. I do. They don't be Damn watching it. the product. So that's light work for you. It's very, <laughs> very light. Yeah, I was. Uh, somebody said they were surprised Rosie Perez was there. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know that was Rosie Perez when I was hearing it because Netflix was frozen on the boxing and oh. the, they never cut to the commentator. But I was like, I didn't even know Rosie Perez liked boxing. I thought she liked Jeopardy. I don't get the wedding. joke. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Get it. I'm sorry. Probably because oh, it came out. It's been so long. I'm Latinx. So I'm Latinx. <laughs> you are Latinx, but you got to see White Man Can't Jump, man. I saw the. Bro, I saw the. Think? I saw the new one. Yuck. No, you don't. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> don't watch. Take that out your mind. You take it. that out your mind. Oh yeah. man, good times, man. All right, man. Get a hand painted portrait in as little as two weeks. The perfect holiday gift, meaningful, personal, and always heartwarming. This is a gift that will touch your heart and make your loved one's holiday unforgettable. Paint Your Life transforms your photos into a wonderful kind beautiful hand-painted portrait by professional artists. You can have your artist combine multiple photos or ask your artist to add embellishments, change a wardrobe, put yourself in a location you've always wanted to go to, or add a lost one to a special, um, a lost loved one, I should say, to a special occasion for a portrait you've always dreamed of. You can upgrade your portrait with a custom frame, uh, customize a payment plan that works for you, it takes less than five minutes to order a custom-made hand-painted portrait. You'll get to approve every stage of the portrait process and request as many modifications as you like to ensure the portrait is painted just like you have dreamed. Y'all know I use this to surprise my very good friend, little sister, Brisha, for her wedding. I was able to add her father, who had recently passed, to a portrait of her in her wedding dress just so she could feel like he was there on the day. So I'm telling you right now, it was one of the best things, best gifts I've ever been able to give somebody. And I think you will love it as well. This holiday season, you can give the most meaningful gift you've ever given from paintyourlife.com. There's no risk. If you don't love your final painting your money 
is refunded, guaranteed. And, at, and for right now, and right now, as a limited time offer, get 20% off your painting. That's right, 20% off and free shipping. To get the special offer, text the word THING to 87204. That's THING to 87204. Text THING to 87204. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. All right, Angel, did you see that guy on TikTok where people hire him to go to cuss out their bosses on their behalf? I heard oh, about yes. it, but I hadn't seen it. I heard about it. And I said, this does not seem like it end well for people. Hey, look, he, I saw one where he was about to fight the uh, manager. Um, let's see if there's one. On Pull it up. Pull it up, Kaya. I feel like Marcus would love that type of job. Oh, my God. Marcus would, <laughs> would kill. I mean, at a younger age now, he don't really, he don't really care. Let me see if I can share this. I'm gonna show y'all some of these. No, oh, my laundry. And I so paid big money to see him cut my, cuss my boss out once upon a time. Whew. These are all long. Let's watch. I'm, these are not preschool. Y'all sit down. This, yeah. this is not gonna last long enough to sit down. You don't know what's gonna last. This is my this meeting. Is, this is my facility. Okay. This is not your facility. Listen, let me tell you, like I tell other, time out, let me tell you something, like I tell other supervisors and managers and uh, 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 bosses, if you're not the CEO of the company, you ain't shit but part of the bottom line. You ain't nothing but a puppet for the CEO. This is not for you to say this is your facility tells me all the entitlement that you think you have or think you supposed to have. This is not your facility. You got to punch in just like everybody else. And when we done with this meeting, you're going to carry your ass back to work and do whatever you was doing. No, because this is not his facility. You time out. You time out. Because that's how we talk at OCDA. Y'all sit down. <laughs> Listen, what does OCDA all, stand for? I love it. I, what does OCDA stand for? I don't know. Oh, I love it. Somebody, I know. Somebody's got to know. Somebody in the Patreon got to know. Oh, my God. That was so good. He said, no, you time out. He says you're gonna clock your ass back in and go back to work and do whatever you were supposed OSHA to do. OSHA cares diversity affairs. Oh <laughs> I love it. It also I love that he has a country accent because I feel like we cuss people out better than anybody. Oh. It sounds so smooth. It sounds so smooth. Yeah. Country cussing is the best cussing. It it's almost sounds melodic. That's the reason why. There's a melody to it that just you end up in a trance. Man, hold on. Let me see if this, I hope this is on there. Uh, Kendria Bland used to have this series that she would do where she would. Oh, where's she been at? Is she on TikTok still? They don't uh, never serve me, huh? Oh, it, it, listen, Angel. It, oh, my God. Y'all going the wrong. Oh, you talk Angel. about when she left the voice. Uh, no, when she would be standing out talking. Yes. Would she have she would hear her own voice back here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm about to be on my way, but my child told me that her teacher hit her. Tell that homie just come outside. I'll be there in about five minutes. This is the last thing I'm telling. She put her hands on to me, so y'all. Oh, bye, Kevin. Lost, Kevin. Um, I ended up doing her uh trend. Because it was such a funny trend. Her, she sounds real country. She sounds. I remember like she you did like it. it. You did it uh, as a voicemail, or how, how did the video yeah, go? Yeah, it was the same. It was same thing. It was a voicemail, but it was as a. I sound more like a mama. Oh, that's like right. A, yeah, yeah. I try. You know, I try to make sure I'm not matching the trend bar for bar and uh -huh. add my own little to it. That's perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Not be coming over today. Who oh, the hell you think finna come over there with them damn blood roaches and them crit rats? I'm not getting in the middle of that, and I certainly ain't eating your damn food. Hell, you tell Ratatouille and Roach Kishiana I ain't coming. No, we will not. You need to stop doing them slave videos. She always sounds <laughs> like a slave. She is from Mississippi. I knew it. I said she better. She's either. From Alabama or Mississippi, because they still got that accent that's really close to the plantation. Have like you seen accent. her? Uh, speaking, uh, have you seen her? Um, 
her Harriet Tubman when she be rapping videos? Yeah. Uh huh. Now, am I confusing her? Am I am I making her with another person who always she does videos like she be talking out the door? Uh oh my goodness! Like she, mm, it's more about what's happening in person, not the voice call. And she got a deep country accent. Her voice is raspy. And 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 God, dog! I ain't never guess what? I'll never find her. I'll never find her. This is what I want to show you. Running the wallet is a planet for the daily. Ha! You know my name, Ben. Or the guy's head. Ha! Ha! Big mama of the town. I'm the big talk. I don't just talk about what kind. I do that simple walk. I walk, 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 walk the freedom. The freedom riders coming to my house. The horse to me. We went to corner street and sat in only white for seats. No one to put his gun up to my face. And I kept eating. What you know about that three, three, five? What you know about the seven? Should be struggling with no. So that's a claim. Oh, no. They looking for this Negro. I got put on the show. On that bus bike. <laughs> Wait, are you Angel? You talking about Seventeen Prime? Show me. God dang it! I keep doing the wrong thing. I love how she switched up her rapping styles. That was so for her to go into um uh who was that? No, nah, it wasn't mystical. Was it mystical? Yeah, she sounded like mystical. Yes, 17 Prime. I can't she I don't know what her um it's she just Shay Moore. Thank you. She doesn't have the same um uh, social she don't have the same handle on uh, That's who I was putting them together in my head, but I was like, her voice sound different. She don't. She has, in my opinion, the real country voice. That's like sugary. Yeah. Oh, girl, sound like a slave. She <laughs> has a syrupy. <laughs> like a slave. She sound like slave movies. <laughs> you better come around here. <laughs> that it sounds way more. Not that it's not an accent. That is true. It just puts us in pre-Civil War. This is who you talking about. You won't have any more problems out of him. Yeah, I promise you that. Okay, bye. You have a nice day, too. Bye. Come here. No, I'm not bothering my thumb now. I ain't the one you mad at. You got these folks calling my phone while I'm at work, and you know I don't play that. You know I don't play that. And you ain't class, you're, you're talking and I ain't doing your work, I ain't turning nothing in, playing and kicking it with JJ and Ray Ray. If JJ and Ray Ray gonna get you graduated, I didn't think so. So why are you in class not paying attention? And next time y'all get great reports, I want it on my dresser. Matter of fact, put that phone on my dresser. They weren't supposed to leave my house. Because if I if I remember correctly, I told you not to take that phone out my house. She my house. when I first moved, uh my dad and mom got married, and um my dad's family all from Atlanta. <clears throat> and we start spending the summers in Atlanta. That's how my aunties and my grandma and them all sound and uh -huh. still sound today. Because yeah. in El Paso, my my mom's family was from Ohio. Obviously, great migration. You know, they both they went to Ohio. Oh, and they, you uh, and Melissa's family is from Ohio? Yeah. My family's from Columbus. So my Ruthie and them is from Columbus, Ohio. Melissa's family is from uh Toledo's Please. house. Toledo. Oh. Melissa's both sides of her family are from Toledo, Ohio. Just oh. my grandma's from um my grandma, my mom's side of the family is from Columbus. My dad's side of the family is not around, but I believe they're from Alabama. Um, but my dad's side from Georgia, stayed in Georgia. So when we went from El Paso to uh Atlanta for the summers, that's what all my auntie, Aunt Pumpkin, Aunt Teen, they all sound like that, and uncles. Um, 
yeah, no, I feel like Seventeen Prime. Her, she has a current Southern accent. Yeah. I'm not saying that what's her face when she talks normally sounds like slave, but when she puts on for the extra, she ages it. Her voiceover purposefully. part. Yeah, 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 the voiceover part. She purposefully ages her voice. Well, yeah. Um, it's not even ages, it's moves it back in time. Yeah. I mean, uh, Shay Prime actually has a black uncle she does that's a truck driver that sound like my uncles. She mm. wears a, a mm. little headband thing, like, you know, when they do the, the Bluetooth. Uh, no, no, the, the truck driver one. What is it called? Um, the, the, the radio. Is it CB radio? I, I know. I know what you're talking about, but I I can't think of the name. It's, it's got the ear. Radio. It's got the ear. And then it's like the. Yeah. But then it, it goes like over. Like a gaming thing. It goes over this way. Yes. Yeah, she sounds like a truck driving uncle, no matter where she is. She just has that headset. Hey, can radio. Why we all got uncles that uh that drove trucks? Why is that yeah, something that black people money, got? I, I got <laughs> an uncle that still I got an uncle that still drives trucks. This CDL money, them them trucking money is good. And they good listen. Especially if you got it early on, you're like, this is this is good, Ooh. and and the benefits you'd be on that road per mile. I am loads, Josh, from coast to coast. It's good money on that road on that CDL. You get on that <laughs> road, you get on that CDL. It's good money, yeah, it is. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I fall asleep. I couldn't like, do it. You own the truck. A lot of black people own their own truck. Mm -hmm. uh, you that's know, what, that's so what they, money is. Yeah, because listen, we still move a lot of weight in America, and a lot of it goes by truck. Yeah, when I order my merch, ground, drive it to yeah. me. Because you put it on a plane, it's going to cost so much more. You know, I order a lot of stuff from overseas. You say that. I order a lot of stuff from overseas. And they'll be like, we can do it express. Stop, Stop it. Oh, multiple yeah. families. Yes. Yes. Nation nationwide. Yes. yes. Nationwide. yes. That's why they all got that insurance, because they'd be on your side, too. They cover it. Um, I was about to say, I order a lot of stuff overseas, and they'd be like, how fast do you want it? I'm like, how slow can you move it? Because... <laughs> if you could walk it over to me with somebody holding it in their hands for the cheapest, walk it to me. Give it to me by summer of next year. Right, exactly. That's I'm ordering this for the future. I don't want it no time soon because I know y'all about to kill me on these prices. Listen, America, the globe, we, we you can ship it, you can fly it, you can drive it, and... As as much technology as we have, we still it's a bit that's a reason when them longshoring was finna strike, it was finna have a, a great impact on our country. Cause it's still cheaper to 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 move them boats through the ocean, drop it off at a dock, hook it up to a truck, and get it where it needs to go. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy. Anyway, God bless y'all. I got I got a lot of stuff to do for churchy right Ooh. now. So Again, when are we back next? We'll be back. Sorry. Sorry. Sat we'll be shooting Saturday. Saturday, the twenty second. You got we'll that thing. I was gonna say you got that thing on Saturday too. I got that thing, so we'll find a time Saturday. If we do it around this time, I should be good. And vote. You got a thing? Okay. God bless you. I'll tell you when we close it off. God bless you. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Fire. Here's another bang of fire. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.